Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about this uh, single mom whose bank account was wiped out by her seven-year-old playing Roblox. Yes. I mean, I can see how that could happen. Yeah, I am wondering how long it's gonna be until Roblox gets sued like Fortnite. I was thinking that, um, like Epic. Yeah, Epic uh, had to pay $520 million to the FTC because apparently they violated uh, COPPA laws. And also they were accused of encouraging gambling and uh, tricking kids into spending their parents' money and all of that. $520 million they had to cough up. And Canada, I guess a bunch of Canadian parents are gonna sue them too. But that's because it's too addictive. Well, apparently Epic actually hired psychologists to make it addictive. Oh, well that's yeah, a little so bit, oh, whoa. That's, okay, well then I can't blame them. Yeah, but then again, Every good marketer uses psychology. I mean, there's a reason that the children's cereal boxes are bright red with cartoon characters and they're right at eye level for kids, mm -hmm. you know, because you, you want the kids to beg the parents. And that's that's what's well, going on. This kid on. didn't beg the parent, he just spent the money. Yeah, and this has happened uh, multiple times, uh -huh. I've heard, but this is right before Christmas. Apparently her bank account's been wiped out. Uh, they have a fundraiser set up. Um, on GoFundMe, they got some money there, but yeah, because um, the Roblox, they wouldn't give them the money back. No, they, gave, <laughs> so, they gave her what, like ten dollars? Ten bucks. Now back. you know. Before we get, we'll, we'll get it. We'll do our intro first, and we'll talk about it. Before yeah. we get into it any further. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, over two hundred and eighty-three thousand subs. Yay! I think. I think finally. Make sure you're still subscribed. We do talk about video game news sometimes. We do gameplay videos on our other channel, the Clownfish Studios, Clownfish Gaming Channel. Check those out. We do play Roblox over there, and we don't spend a lot of money on Roblox. No, cause... our daughter loves Roblox, so. But, you know, okay, so a lot of you listen to us are parents yourselves. So, you know, our kids have never done anything like this. But I've, I've heard many stories from people that their kids did. In this case, the boy is also um, autistic. So, you know, I'm sure that played into it, but she's like a single mom and she said that she lets Roblox is like a big, you know, motivator for her kids yeah. that, you know, she uses it for them to do, you know, if they, it's reward based, like for them, they get, they get, they do things they should do. They use Roblox as a reward. And apparently when she was at work or something, she got notifications to her bank that she was overdrawn and all these charges came up out of Roblox to the tune of like, what was like almost $900? It was, it was a lot. Um, $897. Yeah, $900, yeah. And apparently right after it happened, like she got hold of them right away and being like, hey, hey, these were not authorized charges because um, my son went and started doing it. Because I guess it was linked to their accounts. Yes. And yes. Uh, not thinking they were going to go do this. I mean, I understand both sides because you'd be like, well, it's your kid. You're responsible. Flip side is, you know, she didn't like, you know, with everything going on, you have four kids and you're taking care of them by yourself. I'm sure you shouldn't think, oh, what if one of them goes and spends $900 on Roblox, you know? Mm -hmm. And I guess they only gave her a $10 refund. <laughs> and they said, well, we'll review it on a case by case basis. How many people, though, give them a sob story? I didn't mean to spend this much That's money. That's true. I didn't mean to spend. Now, um, this is actually a true story. I hope, I hope my brother never listens to this video. But uh, when we were younger in the 90s, the 900 numbers were a big deal. And uh, you remember 900 yes. numbers you call. Nine, I'm not talking dirty ones, but they had 900 numbers for like everything. And he was a, I recall it was a wrestler because we were big into wrestling back then. And I think he called like one of these 900 number wrestling hotlines and it wound up being like a four or $500 bill. I think my sister did something like that too. Yeah. So not wrestlers, but oh, and then my brother. I hope your brother. Okay. I hope he doesn't listen to this video either. But it's a, it's, a, it's a running story in our family. We've shared it for years. So back then, they decided they were going to come with the psychic hotlines. And they called the psychic hotline. And he said, what am I going to be doing later? And she could tell you as a kid and said, well, you're not supposed to be on the phone. And then he, went, he was like, well, if you're a psychic, you can tell me. And she's like, you're going to be shitting and hung up on him. And then he had diarrhea. <laughs> so they still talk about it to this day. Him and my sister calling to be smart, Alice asses but you know as if by magic yeah so don't psychic, be shitting that he had explosive diarrhea later that day <laughs> see that's <laughs> it's all legit right um so yeah she had 900 dollars in the bank she's a single mom that's a lot of money uh for single mom and it got wiped out because of damn roblox now it is weird i guess it happened a couple days ago i guess so it's you know but it's like i i, I have stuff saved in for christmas decorations and gifts and i'm like isn't it a little late for christmas decorations but okay and rent 
and immediately got hold of Google and said, yep. wait, 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 wait. This isn't supposed to be right. And they're like, well, we'll give you 10 bucks. The the better way to handle it, if these companies, but they're not going to make as much money, but the better way to handle it if they want to avoid uh, accidental purchases like this is make it mandatory that you buy prepaid points mm-hmm. or cards or V-Bucks or Robux or whatever. Or they have another like another step of uh, um, you know authentic authentication for a parent yeah. or something yep. to be like so that the underage minors aren't buying $900 worth of stuff on their parents' cards that authorization. So apparently, I, I do vaguely remember this. Uh, there was a situation a couple of years ago. A six-year-old spent more than $16,000 on microtransactions Ow! in Sonic Forces Ow! Speed Battle. Oftentimes, the kids are young enough to not really have a strong grasp no, on the concept even, of money. I would even yeah. argue seven, even if a child was autistic. They don't always understand the consequences. Right, right. So we can even top that one. Apparently, uh, somebody spent $20,000 on Genshin Impact microtransactions. Uh, I mean, they, something like that when you're spending 16000 or 20000 that should have set the red flag anyway. You yeah, know? and I think your credit card company, your bank is even going to be like, that's a lot of money for what? It, what is this exactly? But I yeah. mean, this is, look, um, you know, I'm of, I'm of two minds on this one. One, you know, parents need to watch their kids yep. better. For sure, but these games are designed for this exact reason, and they make it you know? easy to like uh, to authorize it. You know, yes. it's not like you, like you have to be text to code. Like you know, other online retailers, you try to buy something, you have to put a code in your phone and all this other stuff to verify. And these are just like push a button, bam, you know. Yeah, and I think that's what's going to happen is they're probably going to make it harder for in-app purchases. Uh, they're probably going to, you know, restrict. In app purchases, and I would not be surprised if if Roblox, especially with as much money as they make, if the FTC doesn't come sniffing around right. and be like, you know. And I'm with you on the two minds too, because it's like you know, I mean, it probably wasn't the smartest thing for this mom to have linked it right into the her account right into their devices because yeah. I know why she did it because they could play all the time and use it as a reward system. Like if you're good, I'll put five dollars in your Roblox or right, whatever. Right. Um, I get why. I'm not like you know blaming her because this parent we all we've all made mistakes i mean who said if you say you didn't then you're lying but i've time, never made a mistake parenting ever <laughs> oh, like the time you, you smacked your baby's head into the ceiling other than that i've never made a mistake oh that time <laughs> he's I almost, fine i almost lost squid king in walmart other than those couple of incidents never made a mistake um yeah, now there mistake. is a little bit of a happy ending not that they got a refund yet but as a result she started a gofundme and she's getting a lot of money, which I'm sure people are going to be like, well, you know, to get the money that you lost back. But people are keep giving money. But the but it's like she's pointing out, you know, you have to you have to figure all those bounce fees. As soon as one is bounced her account, it's going to keep adding up. Yeah. So I, I, I'll talk. I'll talk about that. I'll, you know, I'll talk about that because a lot of people are like, well, it's her own damn fault for getting into whatever. Now she wants more. And she. Uh, OK, so having had a couple instances in our lives where we were broke and uh, we were very much hand to mouth. I can tell you that banks are predatory, right? Um, when you even get close to bouncing something, they will literally put transactions in. Different order. In different order. They will put them through, not in the order that you made the purchase, but they have literally, in the one bank we actually used to have, they got sued for that. Mm-hmm. But they will they will actually uh, order it in such a way that, you know, they're going to get as many bounce check fees right. as so possible. Right. So if you had like, you knew, you know, you, you put some other things through and you knew you're going to be like short, like 50 bucks for the last one, they would deliberately rearrange when they would get them, even though you, you knew when that, that that wasn't the order. And there were times that it'd be days later and they'd hold something because they knew you were close. Yes. And then, then all of a sudden it would go in first, the big one, and then they would put it in descending order. So they'd get as many bounce fees from you as possible. Instead of the actual order the transactions went in or the time that was it was submitted to the bank, they didn't always put it in that order. They put it in the highest to lowest so that you could bounce, 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 bounce. And, and the reality is they they monetize poor people. I yeah, mean, banks much. Banks do. They, they're, they're predatory when it comes to this sort of thing. Um, so I believe her that she probably did have, you know, cause if you had figure you had 10 overdraft charges at 30 bucks a pop, yeah, you know, that's going to put you $300 
Um, but then, I mean, yeah. if you attend, if you attend charges, I mean, we don't have my charges in the world. Well, but, no. they stack them though, because if you're under it all, then every other transaction that tries to go through, and sometimes the company will try to put through like two or three times. That's true. They'll charge you each time. Yeah. Even though it's not your fault. So it could be a case of where the um, Roblox themselves, or was it Google Play, mm -hmm. tried to put it through multiple times. We don't know, yeah. but I believe that it ended up being that amount. So yeah, I mean, in this case, it's not the end of the world. I mean, people have had uh, you much know, obviously, worse. Obviously, they've had much bigger, much bigger. And they uh, usually get spends. refunded. I'm sure she'll get refunded, but it's it, it could take a while, and I don't think she has a while to wait. No, I, I think that um, you know, again, the FTC. I mean, I don't necessarily agree with some of the stuff going on with video games. I think parents that, like, are responsible to Parents are ultimately too. responsible, but I, I can totally, if they're going after Fortnite, they're absolutely gonna go after Roblox. Mm -hmm. There's no there's no doubt, because Roblox actually targets, deliberately targets younger players. You don't have right. a lot of adults playing Roblox. No, and the thing is, know? in a situation like that, where it's an, if it's an ongoing issue that kids are you're buying in-app purchases, a lot of times it's not very much, and they're hoping parents don't notice. Yeah. But a lot of times, you know, there should be like an, an extra step or something in there. Parents should be able to um, authorize an extra step so that kids aren't just like, you know, draining someone's account. Yeah, like send a, something to your cell phone or yeah, something. Yeah, here, hit this code if you want, you want to authorize. If it's over this much money a day, Right. Like if it was like 30 bucks, okay. But if it's going to be over a hundred dollars, I have to authorize the yeah. charges. No, you know, I, something I would, like that. Something like that. Anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Yes. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.